that doesn't bother you that someone that takes up space but is filthy rich for nothing they've done, like that doesn't aggravate you. Like, why couldn't that be me? Here's what doesn't aggravate me that aggravates a lot of people. I don't have a problem with Kim Kardashian being rich because if she's rich or if she's poor, it has nothing to do with me. You know, no, I, I don't care. care. I don't care about that. It's the way you got rich and you're still making money from doing it is what bothers me the most. Like. She's contributed nothing to the society. She hasn't done anything to make anything like more important in life or done anything to improve life for someone else or done any I mean, I know that a lot of people that are rich really don't go out of their way to like yeah. make like it's just the way it is. But I mean I don't know. If I was rich, I would I wish I would get rich by doing something that helped yeah. people in some shape, way, or form or improve someone's way of life by making this or doing something cool technology wise and be like, wow, he made that? That's wicked cool. Yeah, like a medicine or a discovery or something like a, a microwave to make your life easier. Everything. I, like Bill Gates, he stole my thunder. I was going to do Microsoft. <laughs> then it was Facebook with Mike Zuckerberg. He took that idea away from me. Then YouTube got pulled away from me. It just it never, never ended for me. So, I mean, everyone keeps taking my thunder. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's like this. I don't have a problem with, even though, you know, a lot of these people are the dumbest, most worthless people, I don't have a problem with them being rich. The people I have problem more with is like the CEOs of uh, insurance companies and like med- pharmaceutical companies who just like okay, you need to buy this stuff, you need medicine to live, you need to pay for car insurance. If they you owe you. Drive. It's like the gas companies too. How can you get away with not buying gas? And exactly. People are like trying to like do this, no gas for one day would screw the gas companies, but no one's gonna do that <laughs> for real unless you have like a wind up car or an electric car. But I mean. They, they make electric cars limited amounts so people want more. And then after that, they are like on like a list forever to get one. And then you're just like, oh, I don't have time. I need a car now. So you buy some gas guzzler. Then you go back right back to where you started. Yeah, that's the way it is. It's but, annoying. Um, yeah, that's what annoys me more. Like the people who are like blatantly taking advantage of other people. Like Kim Kardashian. Oh, yeah. Like Paris Hilton. Like Kim Kardashian. She's not like, oh. Uh, trying to scheme anyone out of their money. No, but, it, no, not at all. It's just like, what would you do if you're a Kim Kardashian? You probably I'd probably marry a football player and then divorce him. Yeah. And then I go mean, to a basketball player and then act like I was in love with him and then divorce him. So I, I'm more like, I think, okay, everyone watching Kim Kardashian is silly more than, you know, she's trying to benefit herself. And she's making more money because I'm suckers watching that junk. I just Yeah, don't. we're calling her stupid, but she's raking it. No, in she's not stupid at all. The, the, they, she's got a whole organization money they got ranked t-crest that came up with a whole show with them i don't even understand what that show's even about i watched five minutes of it and i passed out just how bored i was i was like i don't know how people watch this passed out of boredom it's just like oh my god really i'd rather just go watch the grass grow which i did (laughs) i don't watch tv it corrupts my brain yeah you do it's good for you i watch uh football and hockey only i say i only watch i watched from september actually from august when preseason starts for nfl Till January, that's all I watch. It's ESPN oh, and NFL Network. It's so under- See, that's like reality TV at its finest, sports. Yeah, I know, and I just don't know why most people hate sports. Most, like, some women people, hate sports. Man, some people are, like, super anti-sports, but, like, competition, we shouldn't have competition. Well, then they bring in the whole swag, they're like, oh, they're all criminals and yeah. blah, blah, blah. I mean, you're going to get criminals in anything you play, but, I mean, it seems to be more prominent in, like, football baseball baseball's more steroids but yeah you make the argument with football too are you kidding me there's some guys that are ripped out of their mind but you know what if you're crushing into someone that's all that matters to me i just it's just all a voice for me but i don't know yeah that's the important part but uh anyways i think that's enough for this show so when are we doing the next show you're the boss oh yeah another thing that i didn't tell everyone um we're down in our basement right now, and we have a couple of spaces cleared out because we're getting T-shirts. That oh, we're are you gonna, gonna tell start... about that? Yeah, I guess so. See, yeah, before... put that on your YouTube thing. Yeah, I will. See, before I was like, okay, I want to get you know T-shirts printed up that say the new boss because I think that would be cool to you know give away to our subscribers and stuff. But uh, then I wear I was... it every day. Yeah, same here. I'm, I'm gonna... gonna wear it every day. I just have like a big rack in my closet just in the same shirt, but <laughs> like a. Uh... Whenever SpongeBob opens his closet and it's all the same, but <laughs> see, I'd rather have it that way, so I don't have to be like, oh, what am I wearing again today? No, no, I'm just kidding. But uh, anyways, before you know, start talking about what you guys don't even understand. <laughs> before I was, I wanted to buy a bunch of new Boston T-shirts, and then I was like, wait a minute, 
I got my own place now, so why would I buy a bunch when I can just make my own? So I bought this huge screen print and press and all the gear on a Cyber Monday, actually. They're having a sale. You've been cybering on Monday? Yeah. Oh, cool. <laughs> so uh, it's coming in on, well, this Monday. Cyber Monday was like two Mondays ago. So it's coming in on this Monday, which is two days from now. And uh, so on Monday, you're going to be ready to print T-shirts? Uh, mm, yeah. So, uh, yeah, we got to, we got to like... Figure out make how like to make five thousand in ten See, minutes. I have to figure out how to make like vintage looking t shirts, like kind of worn, old, you know. Just let me roll around in like dirt and stuff, and then we can sell them. How about I make a t shirt and then you just put it on like a roll? <laughs> you just have to wear it for like. <laughs> I'll wear it for a day and you'll be set. <laughs> but so if we want to mass produce it, we're going to have to print like 10. You're going to have to wear like 10 t shirts. <laughs> Challenge accepted. <laughs> like, wow, that looks really worn. This I'll is really this. authentic looking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. But, uh, yeah, anyways, the point of the story is soon enough, probably in, I want to say a week from now, we're going to have an awesome set of t-shirts to give away. They might be a little crappy at first, but, you know, we're going to get better at it. I'm actually really excited yeah, for it. Yeah, I am too. I just want clothes to wear. Yeah, a long time ago, I had a business, Blue and White Lawn Care. It was my first business ever. I remember that. You and, uh, lawns with you. Yeah, and I uh, used to have t-shirts printed up, and ever since then, I'm like, that would be really interesting to do. And, uh, but you know, I had an apartment, then I moved to North Carolina and I had like 10 by 10 room. I'm like, yeah, you can't put stuff in here. It's way too much work. <laughs> so now I had a, got a whole bunch of space and I'm like, yeah, start printing them up. So that's what we have to give away. So we probably should do it. I don't know if I would do it on like a video on another podcast or what, but I'm excited. Probably. So anyways, we'll end it at that. So thank you guys for watching in, uh, let's see, what else I got to say? You want more people to subscribe. Yeah. You're going to definitely want to subscribe more since I'm oh, on the show. I didn't tell you this. Do you know a YouTube EDU? You ever hear of that? Education? Yeah. YouTube has like their own education section in like MIT and like all like Yale and Stanford. They have videos that they put on this and I got accepted to it yesterday on the new Boston channel. What is it? Uh, it's just like this se separate section just specially for educational videos. So not oh, this for channel, not the podcast. Or yeah, but the tutorials. And uh, I like to do tutorials. I, I look my subscriber count, it shot way up. And I was like, are you kidding me? That's awesome. So I'm excited about that. Wow. So uh, what were we talking about? So YouTube or something? I don't really remember. Not important. <laughs> so um, actually, any of these videos we put up, if you guys have any questions for me or Joby and you want them to be answered, then uh, please leave a comment and we'll go ahead and answer them. I would them. love to read all your comments. Because I guess we didn't mention this. We're in my basement right now temporarily until upstairs gets taken care of. And uh, basically, we don't have any internet down here. So if you're like, oh, I missed the podcast, well, that's because we didn't do... We didn't stream it live. We just filmed it. So and, uh, just leave comments on your YouTube thing or whatever? Yeah, leave on any video and, you know, we'll look through the videos and pick out the best ones and we'll give you our advice, our valuable advice. Just believe me, my <laughs> voice is good. <laughs> this should be good. No. <laughs> so anyways, there you go. So thank you guys for watching and uh, soon enough we'll get it set up where we have internet and you guys can call in live. But I for can't now, wait for that. I really can't. It's going to be awesome. I know. But for now, uh, keep staying tuned for the videos. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for supporting my channel. Keep and, subscribing. Uh, yes. And t-shirts soon enough. So see you later. And when are we doing our next show? You're the boss. Whenever. <laughs> so anyways, thank you guys and I'll see you later.